I'm Nib Stark and I am the visual arts teacher here at Coburg Primary School. I thought about doing this project last year and was inspired by something that I was watching on TV where I saw some older people working with younger people and I thought it was an opportunity that we could have here at the school. So I got together with Dane who's the music teacher and we had a talk about how we could incorporate music and the arts to get the community together. My name's Dane McNeil. I, uh music teacher at Coburg Primary School and finally got to work with Moreland City Council and put together the intergenerational project which has been incredibly successful um, for the council and for the school and for the children and the adults involved as well. Especially after all of these two years of lockdowns that it would be a really nice thing to bring people together and to um, create a space for the generations to come together I guess, so younger people working with older people, um, I think it's really beneficial for both parties and, and also for us it's been really amazing and just being in a creative space I think really facilitates an opportunity to open up, make connections and find some commonalities amongst each other. Hi I'm Matthew Kirby, I'm the Principal of Coburg Primary School. We were just brainstorming together and thought what an opportunity to connect with our local council and build engagement levels with our students to have the opportunity to build relationships with each other and also other members from our community. We just thought it was a win-win for everyone. So it was a really exciting venture and something a little bit different. The first week everyone was a bit on edge because it was sort of something quite fresh and um, new and as the time's gone by I've just seen those relationships become closer and warmer and friendly and I think that um, in such a short period of time we've been able to achieve something really great. In the first session, um, the participants were quite a little bit reserved and a little bit quiet. And by the end of that first session, um, they had all really opened up and made some connections. The senior people were connecting with each other because not all of them knew each other and then also with the students, which was really lovely to see. And since then, they have just been, well, you can probably see behind me, but they've taken off in a, in a whole new direction where they've just been really connected, uh, made some close bonds and and had lots and lots of fun together, so it's been really great. The development of the relationships is the most pleasing thing that we're seeing. Okay. Our seniors are knowing the students' names and the kids are learning the seniors' names and I think the kids even called them the oldies the other day and there was lots of laughter around being described as oldies, but it's really great to see the way they're all embracing each other and connecting. I thought it would just be like um, a little art project, like the band, but I, I didn't expect this much. I think it's been really nice. I've been like um, laughing a lot. And at the start, we always have a little conversation. When I first heard about this program, I felt very good. Working with the kids, they're so full of energy and they've got so many exciting ideas. I'm learning from them just as much as, you know, they're probably learning different things from me. I thought that I was very lucky to be chosen one of the students who got to do the intergenerational program. I really enjoy it and I already made a few friends. I thought it would be a fun opportunity to um, do more art in music sessions. So the relationships, they were pretty good. The two best ones I've been working with best was Audrey and Pamela. I've made friends with Angelo, he's really fun to do Kahoot with and he's helped me win Kahoot three times. So I've got nephews and nieces, but to work with school children that's a bit different. So the children have really made a good impression and it has been excellent. We're really looking forward to the performance in the mall. Um, I think that's going to be a real highlight for the students and hopefully also the adults. Um, to just also take that back out to the community and share what they've been doing together. I'm really excited about the performance. It should be interesting to be in the community um, and watching other community members be involved as well and seeing how they respond to um, the adults and the kids working together. We're always looking to connect to our greater community and we've seen the success of this program and I think it's something which I guess encourages us to look outside the square in the future.